Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Call of Duty Pro League. Benson, Max. Max is doing a little dance. I don't know what that was. He's got his little Jacob's hammer on point today, so he's feeling happy and wonderful. <laughs> uh, we're in the lobby. Envious versus Elevate. It's a good one. A great one. We're just waiting for one more player to join, and then we're ready to go. Who are we waiting on? Uh, Llama God. Oh my God. Of course we're waiting on Llama God. Or God like. One of the two. Looking at the other games in the Pro League, they have not begun. So, you, ladies and gentlemen, are miss not missing out on any action whatsoever. So don't worry. We got you. Max, how was your day? It was a pretty good day. Woke yeah? up. Helped right the ESR. Went to class. Got a haircut. How was class? Class. It was all right. It was good. What'd you learn today? Not much. Hit me, hit me, <laughs> hit me with something you learned today. Um, Good to know you pay attention. Uh, I didn't learn much. I'll tell you that. Tell you that much. I can tell you what I didn't learn. Okay, what didn't you learn? I didn't learn how to do quadratic equations. Quadratic equations. You could have said aerospace <laughs> engineering. You could have said, you know, flying a, a plane, I guess. I didn't learn how to fly a plane. You did? No, I didn't. That oh, would have been awesome. Shame. That'd be kind of cool if you did. I'd be kind of uh, jealous, actually. I would go to class every day. Mm, that would be a good class. What do you, what do you study? Journalism. Journalism? Ooh. Yeah, uh, ooh, big fancy man. Look at, look at you. With your fancy <laughs> hair, your fancy man, with your fancy journalism. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Have you done any, like, writing in, like, newspapers or anything like that? Um, not really. I mean, I wrote for, like, I mean, mm, I've done like reporting for my classes and stuff, but I was expecting None. you to be like, "Yo, I once did a paper for CNN. It was global. Oh, it no. blew up." But you I'm didn't. Not, I'm not that hype. I'm not that. Another hype. Well, I'm luckily for us, game number one of Elevate versus Envious is about to begin. Yeah, that's right. Pro League starting only 15 minutes late today, rather than you know like three hours late like it normally does. Yay. I mean, that's fun, right? Yeah. Who do you yeah. want to hop on board with first, then? I'm a, as you are the guest of honor this evening, and you've just had a haircut, I'm going to let oh. you make the executive decision. We going with Tyler Polchow, NVT. I want to see what TP's do. You want to see some teep? Some teep action. Let's see some TP. Give us some teep on your screen. All right, so TP making his way towards that first hill. Picks up one and traded. Has a surfboard on his back though, so maybe that's uh, slowing him down. Not going to be reaching his terminal velocity with that. You get it? Because we were talking about aerospace engineering. Uh, terminal velocity. No. Nope. Nope. Just mean that. Never mind. Uh, Envious. Up to a okay start. Nothing too crazy either way. Uh, for me, really though, it's all going to be about godlike. If Godlike can hold his own, play extremely well, Elevate could take the series. But we both actually have Envious coming out on top. Yeah, we do. And what's interesting is that Elevate's actually running three battles right now. TJ is going to be the only ASM one player for Elevate. Do you favor that kind of meta for the team right now? Yeah. Play from distance, pick up a lot of kills. Works out in their favor for the most part. Uh, Elevate actually starting to pull away 20 to 6. The current score in this game, number one. Hotpoint has rotated. It's going to be Proofy with early control. Proofy, a play we haven't really seen too much in Advanced Warfare. Um, had his moments, but I think too ridiculous. And now with kind of the way the game is going, I feel like Proofy and his bow becoming more and more dominant every day that goes by. Yeah, I think this is finally the one team Proofy feels extremely comfortable on. I mean, obviously he started out on, on uh, Optic Nation at the beginning of the season, mm -hmm. and then things didn't really work out there and ended up on phase black for COD Champs. Didn't place too well at COD Champs, and then obviously the trade was made to put together this Envy squad, and... With a bow, he's been looking, like you said, better and better every day. Um, you know, and then with the Slayers of Saints and Looney and then TP, the objective mastermind. This team looks really, really good, Ben. I mean, they've been on a massive run in the Pro League from bottom to second place, or potential second place, currently in third place. A good evening here tonight 
would secure them that second place spot. Hardpoint's going to rotate, and I'm going to go see this play. It's going to be classic for Elevate, who's going to have the action. He's going to fall, uh, looking at Saints to try and clean up some kills around the outside, but he drops. It's going to be Slack and Godlike on the Hardpoint. Godlike falls. TJ in a position to try and trade. Picks up one, however. In comes Envious. Three players go down for Elevate. TJ doing everything he can to just stay alive. Turns, not able to pick up the kill. And uh, just like that, Hardpoint control goes back to Envy. Yeah, Looney had walked right through that lobby base and was able to pick up two and Proofy was able to get a third kill, but they were not able to get full control and spawns of this lobby hill. Elevate now looking to extend their lead almost to it's going to be about a 52 point lead. And right now, I mean, Godlike is picking up the slack that he's doing really great. Now 14 and 7 with that bow on that back rock area controlling these spawns. Just absolutely dominating in these first couple That's minutes. That's a great performance from him thus far. We'll see if he can continue at that pace. Classic 8 and 12, just kind of uh, slowed down a little bit since the start of the game. Had a very, very good start, but not really seen too much from him so far. Hardpoint rotates 79 to 34 in favor of Elevate. This is going to be an Elevate host map number one as well, so bear that in mind. A win for NBA off host will be massive in the rest of the series. Yeah, and uh, mentioned Elevate's loadout, but we're we'll talking about Envy's. They're going to be running two ASM1s in the form of Looney and Teep and Proof and Saints are going to be your bow players. So they're going to have a little more pressure on the hills, but if Elevate can continue what they're doing, controlling the outside hills, those long lanes, they're not going to be able to get into the hills. It, it's kind of interesting, right? Because if Envy's were able to get to the hills, you know they're going to be able to out-trade because they have those two ASM1s. But right now, as the game is being played, Elevate just not allowing Envy to get anywhere near them because of that bow play. So it's uh, pretty interesting seeing how this game is developing so far as Elevate about to reach triple digits in the score. 10 seconds left on this hard point. Already, Envious have rotated, trying to set up on this final hill of the first rotation. They're down just over 60 points. Pretty big lead that Elevate actually have, but Envy can still come back, that's for sure. Yeah, like you said, playing off host, they need to start coming back here on this final hill, this attic hill of this first rotation if they want to start building some momentum going into the second rotation. And right now, they're going to have control. It's going to be one player in the hill. That's going to be TP. He's going to be challenged by Godlike. He gets a nice kill on him. Gets taken out from behind, though, by Slack, as it looks like they've broken control. But Envy is still certain. Yeah, just you say that, Slack. <laughs> Jumps around the outside. No, runs out of ammo. Well, that was unfortunate. That kind of uh, brings up an interesting point of topic. Obviously, the ASM-1 has been somewhat silently nerfed with the reduction of a uh, magazine clip from 45 down to 35. It's moments just like that where he's previously would have been able to easily pick up that kill. Now, not able to do so, running out of ammo. Are you a fan of reducing the ammo down to 35, Max, or are you kind of against it? Maybe they shouldn't have touched it. Um, It's tough. I mean... I think 10 bullets, like taking out 10 bullets from the clip is a pretty big nerf in mm -hmm. terms of overall performance for the gun. Um, we've seen, you know, ASM1 players with 45 bullets just walk, like basically on Biolab, just walk into like Green Circle, for example, and then just spray around corners and just continually spray and pre-fire. So they'll have like, you know, 10 excess bullets they can just spray all over the place. Now that's not the case. They need to be a little more conservative with their ammo. But, um, I mean, what are your opinions on it? Yeah. <sighs> It's, it's tough. I think it was a, an attempt to see if we can bring more SMGs into play, but thus far, haven't really seen any. Um, you know, there's been no experimentation, really. We saw a little bit with the KF5, but that didn't last very long. I think that was really the, the, the game plan, but people are still going to rock this ASM-1. It's just by far and away the best SMG. Just now, I think people need to be a little bit more cautious. Previously, you could pre-fire a lot of things, now it's kind of back to the MSMC from Black Ops 2 where you just need to be a little bit more accurate with your weapon. Do you think we're going to see maybe a switch to extended mags? Uh, That's a, really interesting testament? that you bring that up. Um, I haven't seen anyone experiment with it yet. I don't know whether it's worth it because 35 bullets is still a lot of bullets, right? Like, it's not like you've been massive. Like, if they took it down to, like, 25, <laughs> okay, that's like, wow. Extended mags becomes a serious, serious conversation. But if you're going to get rid of anything, what are you going to get rid of on, on the ASM-1? Because, like, you got, what, grip, quick draw? Like, I feel you need quick draw if you're going to be playing on the hill. Like, grip for your long-range gunfights. Advanced rifling is so key for, for that extra range. But, I mean, how many times do you see an ASM-1 just destroy a bow player? Like, it, it's right. not very often, but when it does happen, it's because they're using advanced rifling. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would have to be situational in terms of quick draw is a must. And then I guess in some situations you could swap out grip if you're 
you know, maybe playing on uh, Biolab again, for example, in that mid bio hill where things are. But at that know, point, would you get rid of advanced rifling? Mm. No, yeah, I'm, I'm saying in that situation, you would get rid of advanced rifling. Right. And then so in like okay. other situations, you would get rid of grip. But I mean, I guess like it's both like a close quarters trade off. Like you, it's really this fact that you want to trade a little bit of range for a little bit of, uh, you know, better recoil. Yeah. I agree, but I mean, 35 bullets still. <laughs> a lot of bullets to have in an yeah. SMG, but you do see those moments now where players have just got so used to being able to pre fire and spray the whole ASM1 that if they're still in that habit and they don't adapt quickly, uh, they're going to lose a lot more gunfights. This game, very, very close. 20 points uh, just over now, the lead for Elevate. That kind of appeared out of nowhere. Seemed like Elevate had this completely sort of done, wrapped up, but Envy coming back. Uh, looking strongly, have this scrap time pretty much in the bag if they can pick up this kill hit on select. In fact, Elevate all going to try and push in. Not sure I agree with that. And all fall full. And now Envy is going to be able to try and lock down this next hill. We're going to see a big, big fight come in now. It's going to be TPing on the hill for Envy. And Elevate players trying to push in. Watch out for Looney coming in around the outside. Elevate will get early control, but Saints in a position to try and pinch in. He's going to pick up one. Looney picks up another player. However, someone actually just goes straight past someone from Envy. And you can see this massive fight going on for the hard point. And Envy going to break it. They could actually go into the lead here, Max. Yeah, Looney with a huge play coming around the outside, trying to secure those better spawns for his team. He was on a six kill streak before he was taken out, sitting at 30 and 30 now. And it looks like the hill contention is going to be going back and forth as Envy trying to claw back into this game. They're oh. only down what seems like to be 14 points right now. And I mean, Elevate is just doing all they can to fight off Envy. Just when you thought they could potentially uh, do it, maybe not. <laughs> as I say that, Envy get the scrap time. <laughs> Actually, who is going to get that scrap time? Oh, Looney fighting for it. Needs to win that gun fight, but doesn't. Five seconds going to go to TJ, but more importantly, that's going to force Envy to spawn out, and I mean way out. Elevate is going to get a huge chunk of time on this next and final hard point, with now about to be a 20-point lead, 45 seconds in the game. Envy is really going to struggle to get back into this one. I think that's where Elevate have just won this game. Yeah, they had really one push to make it work, and they pretty much got shut down. Elevate is looking like it's going to be almost like two or three more seconds before it's mathematically impossible. And there it is. Elevate's going to secure a retreat hardpoint game one against Team Envious. Valid, val valiant effort there from the boys in blue, but Elevate is proving too strong. Yeah, solid, solid performance from them. Uh, again, looking elsewhere in the Pro League, nothing going on as of yet. In fact, actually, I lie. All the games have actually begun, but they're only at the beginning. So we'll keep you updated with them. But for now, as Mike said, Elevate going to go 1-0 up in the series. A big win and hold on host for the Hardpoint game. Maybe they take the series. Maybe we uh, underestimate them a little bit. We both have Envy winning. We'll see, though. For now, we're going to head up as a quick commercial break. When we return, head over to Search and Destroy.